slow sips often. It helps. Drink the rest. Yes, yes. Thank you, Moira. That is all for now. The soothing herbs lift the fog from my mind for a time. How long has she been mixing these for you? You're stalling, Eivor. Tell me what you've learned, what news from the north. The pigs were beaten back. We took their lives and their treasures. Farawid asked me to deliver this. Is he taunting me? Farawid poisons the wine he gives me. These goblets are a cruel joke. He is mocking me. We did capture some barrels of Frankish Black. He said they were for you, but I made him open a cask. We drank together. There was no poison. Speak without guise, Eivor. Does he plot against me, or no? Does he keep secrets? Give me something I can use. Now you must choose between treason and madness. Between the serpent's fang and the bite of a rabbit wolf. Faravid asks for my silence. But Hafton expects the truth. If I'm not careful, these lies will pile up, one upon the next. You have grown awfully silent, Wolfkist. I fought some hard battles at Faravid's side, and I found him to be an honorable man. No, no, he's a wily one, that man. He has got you fooled as well. You must keep digging. Where is he now? What is he doing? We're to meet at a place called the Waltz. Good. Go to him. Watch, listen, unearth his lies. You will find them. If you fear poison, Lord, you must consider everything, even Moira's brew. Impossible. Moira has been with me for an age. She is no witch. She is kind. And... <sighs> Perhaps you could speak with her and find out for yourself. She stays within Donacaster, not far from here. If you learn something, find me north of Donacaster. One of my scouts there has troubling news. Heal, Beonton! Going for a walk down to the temple. I should see Moira about this brew she's been feeding Afton. Oh. <laughs> what do you see? not here. This letter came from Weaker. She must have gone there. Go to Weekend. Find Moira.
It's a small village. Moira's house must be near. Show me. Eden lover. What is this ruckus? Stand back, Jane. There's a witch within that house. We've come to burn it down. She's no witch. She's Hafton's healer. That proves it. Dark magic, that is. Clear out, all of you, before I beat you senseless. Come on out of there, you heathen lover. Ooh. Away from my house, you ruffians. You can't hide forever. Moira, we must go. Before they burn your cutters to cinders. I can't go out there. They'll steal me away and burn me at the stake. All right. I see two ways out of this, but neither is without risk. Do what you must, only hurry. I leave myself in your hands. You give a good scream and fall. Then I'll carry you through the mob as if I've done you serious harm. Oh, Lord above, have mercy. Yes. Fine, I'll do it. Whatever it takes. Time to be convincing. Are they gone? Thank the light. We'll be safe here. Thank you, Eivor. A thousand times I thank you. And if I asked you to drink your own brew? I would, gladly. And often do from time to time, to ensure it's not overly bitter before serving to Halfton. When you said there's no cure for what ails Halfton, you mean he's touched in the head? I fear so. The same malady bedeviled my mother. The body breaks down and the mind falls apart over time. It's a terrible thing. I need your help, Moira. The brews you mix for Hafton. What goes into them? Oh, quite a diverse mixture. Let me see. Lavender, rosemary, meadow sweet, yarrow, soothing herbs, nothing uncommon. I should return to Hafton. He said he would be at the Temple of Flora. Tread lightly this topic with him, if you would tread it at all.
asked about this lab, my friend. Who's out there? Often. Good to find you here. The Raven Feeder returns. Now keep quiet. I'm hunting a band of traitors lurking about this swamp. Who told you there are traitors here? My scout. He asked me to join him here, but he is nowhere to be found. Have a look around. Tell me if you see something. Eivor! Search the perches and lookouts here. You could be spying from above. Olav! Speak to us! Where are you? Clinging to life, I should carry him down. Help! Olaf! I found your scout, but his wounds are grave. Olaf. Poor Olaf. He will be buried with honors. I will see to that. Walk the bridge, old friend. I will see you on the other side. Be Anton may track his attackers. Get them, boy! Good boy! Follow their trail! Sniff them out, boy! We will paint the ground with their blood! Who are these men you suspect of treason? Thieves who stole my war spoils. Looks abandoned. Are you sure someone is here? The trail ends, but nobody's here. Hmm. Here, a hidden entrance. It might be lurking below. These pipes burst and flooded the tunnel. Even this old Roman work cannot withstand the icy kiss of winter's goddess. Look there. The pipes cut through that wall. Could there be more rooms beyond? We've done it. We must hurry. Eivor, something is there. Hold on, we'll find a way through. Give me a hand! The Romans were fine craftsmen. These chambers are vast and decorated, 
and laced with piping. Yet they went mad and vanished, just like their gods. Moira's books tell us so. Ah, here, you see? Spoils of war. Mine! Stolen from me! I am beset on all sides, Eivor, by plotters and schemers. What kings and jarls are not. Your territory is vast and wealthy. Every day decisions I make change the lives of thousands. It is a burden few could bear. Yet I do. I do. You spoke with Moira. What did you learn? She means well. I don't believe she would poison you, not willingly. <clears throat> she also said she has seen your illness before, in her own family. Said it came on slow, but was incurable. No. No, this is not an illness. This is poison. Somehow someone is poisoning me. This is Lord. These will be the thieves who stole my tribute. Kissed and half done. Well met. Come, fill your bellies with meat. You stole this tribute. By rights, this is mine. It was meant for me. You stole nothing. Faravid gifted this to us for a hard day's battle. And did you take my scout Olaf in that battle? Your brother in arms? Did he too have to die for this tribute? That was. That was Olaf? Damned fool! We thought he was a thief! The only thieves here are the ones drinking my mead and spit-shining my silver! You! Cowards and traitors! We are owed this bounty, Jarl. For battles won and blood let. Eivor, you tell him! They only took their rightful share. You are traitorous worms. But Eivor seems to think you deserve pity, so I will give it this once. Return my spoils to Donacasta, and I will wipe this day from my memory. I can't do that. It is our share. We fought for it, killed for it, bled for it. If we don't get the glory, we deserve our share. The barking will stop. They forced my hand. Take hold of your fear, Hafton. It can poison your mind. Farrowid killed this man, not me. He forced my hand with slights and trickery. He... <coughs> I find it hot in these furs. The day must be warming. You have a meeting with Faravid. Is that not right? I do, at the waltz. Yes, I know the place well. It is on the road between Jorvik and Picheringa. Press him, Eivor, as hard as you can. Never let up, and bring me proof of his treachery, or otherwise. Traitors, thieves, no right. 
They had no right to... It's rightfully mine. Yes. Ferret, the rat. Words are poison. Eivor, welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already? <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfra. Poor Ulfra. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Halfton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He's not the same man he used to be. The songs of scalds and the glint of silver can turn even the best of us. He was a fierce man in days past, but he has lost the bite he once had. He's too careful. He ruminates and hesitates. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to Jorvik, Eivor. Remind me of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor, waiting for spring? Your horse can smell the ale dripping from your mouth. You frighten her. It warms my heart that you're concerned, but Hulda and I can hold our drink.
Having trouble keeping up? My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. What are we doing in Yorwick? You haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishie and his feared, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your yawl? Shh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception. You should have told me this before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plans. Don't do it again. Things are better now, are they not? Ever since I've been for a couple of years. Speak not that blasted name. I've been afraid to touch even a drop of wine since the Yuletide feast. One more reason to stick with them. I wish Yuletide happened every month. The daily slog kills me. Not if it happens the way it did last time. Huh. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger if he defies his master's will. Rishie cannot defy orders he has never heard. No. Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again, until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done, but today I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at Magnus. To make war with the North on such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishier, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. But Hafton is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Hafton, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Hafton wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Hafton wants. Without Hafton's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I should break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. 
Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse subjects. Fine. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Hjor of Jorvik could help. Good. Hjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. Yes, that was a win! Aid me. Be my eyes. Your costs more than bread. Things were better under Arden. You're just where I hoped you would be. Eivor, gods, you have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get hurt. But you won't bother my friends. I'll bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravid made this plan, not Hafton. Does Hafton know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Hafton himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. Eivor, join me for a drink. This forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing amiss. I trust you know what you're doing.
Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Hafton commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. Get them marching at once. This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you fighting, truly? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never lingering. There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed and have a care. Part of it should be waiting at Stenway.
<laughs> Eivor, good to see you. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishi promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick's swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Afton doesn't know our plan. He'll hear the aftermath soon enough. be a good fight. I have faith in it. Part of its plan had better be sound. Let us hope this goes well. Part of its army. Amor, over here. Today you may regain your glory. Think on that. We did wrong to follow Ulf, and would make things right by following you this day. The battle is near. On the battlefield once more. Old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days where the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My Saxon vassal is more loyal than any man in my army. Rishia, that silk-tongued devil. Silk-tongued and loyal to the end, you backstabbing curse. Both of you, traitorous schemers. You're a sick man, Hafton. You see traitors under every carpool, behind every tree. A sick man? You deny you went behind my back? Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Lufina talks sense. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Taylor, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue.
Stay back, then! These Picts came in great numbers. They came to fight. If this is a trick, do what you must. Draw steel and cut them down like harvest corn. Turn tail and run back beyond the wall. The Romans built that wall to keep us out, but they are gone, and we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall, we have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden, but we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? <laughs> The kingdom has spoken!
I need to get that drawbridge down. Open for the coward King Rishi. the victory and Rishi had defeated was he the thorn at my back the traitor I suspected all this time save your praise Hafton Rishi may yet live that coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere it matters not this day is not done until we've seen his corpse do not relent not yet Eivor rise like an eagle or call like a crow Thank you. 
picked skulls to my hammer. You meet the spirits this day, traitor. <coughs> Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishia. Soon, you will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. What, what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? Traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends and my allies will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance in Jorvik. Leave this king to his winter kingdom. <laughs> 